Now what I've done here then is sketch out what we are given in the question that this ball is projected from a height of 49 meters above the ground with a speed of 14.7 meters per second. And so we've got to find out the greatest height above the ground that this ball rises. Well, the ball obviously is going to carry on up here and slow down until it comes to instantaneous rest. So for a split second, it's just going to come to rest here, naught meters per second then. And it's slowing down because you've got acceleration due to gravity acting downwards. So I'd mark that in, that the acceleration here is g. g being 9.8 meters per second per second, say. Now, in order to work out the height above the ground, what I'm going to do is find this height, first of all, and then add it to the 49 meters. So let's just stick in that this height from here to here, we'll call it h, h meters, okay? So let's just mark those dimensions in. Got that there. So that's the kind of typical diagram that I would do with something like this. So in order to answer this question, it's a typical one where we use the SUVAT equations. I call them the SUVAT equations because we've got S, U, V, A and T. S being the displacement. And we're dealing with vector quantities here. So it's very important that we set up a positive direction. And in problems like this, it doesn't really matter which way you take the positive direction, but I would always encourage you to go upwards the initial velocity is upwards, so I would select that as positive. Now, what is the displacement S then? Well, S is going to be plus H, so we'll put that in as plus H meters. U, the initial velocity, will be plus 14.7, so we've got 14.7 meters per second there. The final velocity is zero, zero meters per second. And as for A, this is where you've got to be careful because it's acting in the opposite direction to the positive sense. So the acceleration will be minus 9.8 meters per second per second. As for the time, well, we're not interested in the time it takes to go from here to here. We're just interested in that height h. So what kind of equation would we use? Well, we should be familiar with our equations. It's going to be the one then that involves S, U, V and A, and it is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So if we use that, then we've therefore got V, which is going to be zero, so zero squared is zero, equals U squared, 14.7, We'll just pop that in there, squared plus 2 times the acceleration due to gravity, which is minus 9.8, and that's multiplied by S, which is H. So all we need to do is just rearrange this equation. If we were to add this term to both sides, because it is negative, then we would have 2 times 9.8, which is 19.6 minus 19.6 h here. So if you add it to both sides, you're going to get 19.6 h equals 14.7 squared. Well, 14.7 squared, in fact, is 216.09. So you could pop that in there. And all we need to do is divide both sides by 19.6, and you'll end up with h equaling 11.09. 5 meters. Well, that's h, but we want the greatest height above the ground. So to finish it off, let's just put therefore greatest height, okay, we'll put above ground equals, and so we just got to do 49 then plus 11.02. And what does that give us? Well, that gives us 60.025, and 
meters and say we round it to three significant figures then that's going to be 60.0 meters to 3SF. Alright, 